Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am sharing with you five brand new super cool track mods for Assetto Corsa. We have something on this list today for absolutely everyone from some proper built racing circuits to a rally stage and some fictional circuits. I think there is something for every type of Assetto player to enjoy on this list. Before we get into it though, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my second channel, JC Racing. That'll be the top link down in the description below. I'll be live streaming the iRacing Race for More 2.4 tomorrow at 11 a.m. PST, so make sure you get subscribed and drop in. It's for a good cause, and overall, we are just looking to have some fun tomorrow at Le Mans and iRacing. Once again, that's the top link down in the description below. Let's get right into the first track on this list, and that is Dirt 2's Utah Trail. This is a fictional rally stage based in Utah, but this this is a super cool track. It's converted over from Dirt 2, of course, by RMI. And this is just a super cool track based in the Moab Desert. It's 8.6 kilometers long, thoroughbred rally stage with the new dirt physics as well with the latest CSP version. This is a super fun track to throw any rally cars you have in Assetto Corsa around. It's also a very well detailed track. I love the texturing of the rock and the desert plants. I live in a desert and I can attest that it looks very, very good and very realistic. So this is a super fun rally stage. These are quite rare in Assetto Corsa, so when we get a good one, even if it's a fictional circuit, I do like to cover it and they're just a ton of fun to drive. You can find this one in the link in the description below. Next up on the list, we have Dragon Trail, and this is, of course, a fictional circuit from Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo Sport, Gran Turismo 7, and this is actually a really fun layout. This thing has uh, what is known as the Chicane of Death on its seaside layout, but it also has a Gardens layout and a Double Dragon layout if you want a super duper long circuit. The seaside layout is 5.2 kilometers long, the Garden layout is 4.3 kilometers long, and the Double Dragon layout is 10 kilometers long. This is a super high quality conversion and a very fun track. I know it's fictional and a lot of people might not like the like Gran Turismo 4 as a fictional tracks, but this is a super interesting layout. And sometimes from fictional tracks, you just get some layouts and some elevation changes that you just wouldn't get in real life. So they're definitely fun to drive here in Sim. You can find this one in the link in the description below. Next up on the list, we go to Death Valley, California for Death Valley Race. But if you don't know what Death Valley is, it's a place in America and California that is one of the hottest places on Earth. It gets like 124 degrees Fahrenheit, um, if not even more, during peak summer times of the year. And this is a racetrack put here. I don't know why anyone would do that, but regardless, here we are. This is made by D-Dog and converted by RMI. It's four kilometers long. It has a ton of elevation change, a lot of undulating corners. It's a very flowy circuit, a pretty fast circuit as well. And in pretty much whatever kind of car you're going to drive around here, maybe not F1 cars or super duper quick cars, but some road cars, some lower tier Formula or GT cars, you're going to have a ton of fun. And also it's something I really enjoy around here is classics it's a super cool track maybe not the best in terms of modeling and texturing but still gets the job done for a set of corsa and i think could be cool for at the very least just some hot laps you can find this one in the link in the description below Next up on this list, we have Valencia Circuito Ricardo Tormo. This is based in Valencia in Spain. It's actually a few kilometers away, as far as I know, from the Valencia street circuit that F1 used to race in in the early 2010s. But this is a proper built circuit. Formula E raced around here. They test around here. GT World Challenge goes around here, and I'm sure some uh, lower level formulas do at some point as well. This is a super cool 
cool layout and of course it just got added over to ACC about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And this is a fantastic version for Assetto Core. So this is made by Tom Sim. It's 4.1 kilometers long. It's got 26 pits so you can put some GT cars on it, some lower level formula cars, Formula E if you want to, whatever your heart desires. You can find this one in the link in the description below. It's so cool to have a proper Ricardo Tormo for AC. And finally on this list, we have Chuckwalla Valley Raceway. This is made by Nuke Drop, and this is a very, very cool track. It features both a drag strip as well as a proper built circuit. This was built in 2010 in real life in Chuckwalla Valley in Southern California, and this is their premier automobile and motorcycle racing course, and it is a super fun track to throw some road cars around. Around. Definitely, that's what this track was designed for. You also could maybe put some like lower level GTs or Formula cars, but I think just your road track focused cars like a 911 GT3 RS or something like that is going to be a ton of fun around here. And it is also very high quality. A lot of Nuke Drops tracks are very high quality. Some maybe are a little bit less, but this one is super, super cool. It has a super fun layout. And of course it has that one kilometer long drag strip as well. So if you're looking for another one of those in a set of Corsa, then you will get that from this one. You can find this one in the link in the description below. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, a like and a sub would mean a lot. Once again, make sure to go check out my second channel, JC Racing. I'll be live streaming the Race for More 2.4 over there, and I'd love it if you would come check it out. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.